So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kind of glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim, not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rolled with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas and killed near 200 people, boy. Ah, nothing great about that. And from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. from every which way. But I knew I'd have to fight my way forward if I was gonna find this gym. They stop this train in the first place. Well, the James boys were experts at this. They hopped a freight train, having heard. There was a big payroll in the express safe, so I hopped the same train. The James Younger gang was decimated after that little fiasco they had in Northfield, Minnesota. So Jesse needed more men and took on the killer I was after, along with a host of others. I was hoping to find my man and put a bullet in his head. Climbing around that train, I must have swallowed a hundred damn bugs before I the reached James that... James Younger gang pulled the first train robbery huh? west of the Mississippi. Sounds like you hold them in high regard. Everyone knows they were the most famous outlaw gang ever. And you took them all on by your lonesome. Again. I'm finding this all a little hard to swallow, friend. Well, maybe you need to wash it down with some whiskey. By the way, did I mention that that train was flying down those tracks like a bat out of hell? find the gentleman's facilities. Suddenly I have an urgent need to drain my one-eyed snake. Well, I've had more than a few drinks and uh, I've been sitting here for quite a spell. <laughs> right through there. Let me show you. so much malarkey in my life. Uh, you think he's bullshitting us? You don't think he's Silas Greaves? I think he's just some old drunk looking for some free liquor. I don't know, Jack. I think I believe him. 
You don't think he met Jesse James? Boy, you gotta be kidding me. That story makes no sense at all. Jack. I mean, you gotta be two bricks short of a load to believe that cock and bull story. I don't agree. Jack, lay off the But you seriously think that tired old man went toe to toe with Jesse James? Well, that's better. Did I mention that this Jim was married to the infamous Bell Star? Of course, I didn't learn that until later. Anyway, I made my way forward the best I could. Around the side, over the roof. At some point, some son of a bitch saw me and shouted out, It's a damn Pinkerton's! It's a damn Pinkerton's! Now, I never worked for that limey cocksucker. But I guess they assumed I was one of his assassins. Those evil bastards firebombed Jesse's mother's house and killed his stepbrother. So it's no wonder each and every asshole on that train wanted to be dead. Everybody's always mistaking you for somebody else, aren't they? Don't rightly know, Jack. I'm just telling you how I remember. I bet you are. I came across a flat car piled high with logs and had to come up with a creative way to make my way forward. I wondered if I was ever going to find the front of that train. Or the bastard I was after. Right about then, I was attacked by some asshole on a Gatling gun. Yeah, seems like you run into a lot of them. Asshole? Gatlin guns. Yes, I did. Now, I don't remember how I took it out. It was either a bullet or dynamite. Where would you find dynamite? Does it really matter, Jack? You're messing with the flow of the story here.
I was looking for Jim and shooting any son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. <laughs> A lot of men determined to die that day. Huh? Huh? It was then that Jesse detached the express car from the rest of the damn train. I could see Jesse waiting for me, fixing to kill me so he could get away with all that money. You had a showdown with Jesse James? Of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah, Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Guess it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, Ben? Your past always catches up with you. Yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his guns. What about that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. That bastard slipped away again. I'll tell you how I got him, but first I need to whip my whistle. After my showdown with Jesse, I continued to track his brother, Frank, and that son of a bitch Jim. I followed those bastards into the high mountains as they were going to ground. What mountains would that be? Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. Perfect place to hide out from the authorities. In fact, before I could find them, some Indians who fled the res and were hiding out from the military found me first. They probably thought I was a cavalry scout and didn't want me telling the military where they were. Engines? Yeah, they, they could have been uh, Cheyenne, but there was all sorts of renegades roaming the landscape back then. About another whiskey, Ben. Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. Now where was I? Indians, right? I had more than my share of run-ins with the red man. Like that time. Did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Yes, sir. <coughs> ah, of course I did. <sighs> In fact, I can still remember that old medicine man's words to me. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. You will come to this place again and kill many more men. will grow until it consumes everything you are. The man you are after. 
Let me ask you something, Ben. You ever think about death? Mr. Graves, are you all right? Ooh, dear. Ooh, dear. Won't you spare me over to another year? What is this? That I can't see With eyes cold hands Taking hold of me Well, I am death None can excel I'll open the door To heaven or hell Oh, death Someone would pray could you wait to call me another day? Oh, death. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over till another year? So are you gonna answer the question? What question is that? Jim Reed. Did you ever find him? Reed was indeed that son bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brothers. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance, but nothing was gonna stop me. Nothing. I finally did track those outlaws down. They had long rifles with scopes and were well positioned to pick off any poor soul who came anywhere close. I'm guessing Frank James believed I was responsible for the demise of his brother, Jesse. I couldn't really disagree with the man, as I thought Jesse was dead then as well. He backed off as I closed in on him, but he was still intent on killing me. And when I closed in on him again, he backed off again, looking for a better angle on me. I can't fault Frank for wanting his revenge, as I was there for the same damn reason myself. At this point, I'm guessing you think Silas Greaves is a worse murderer than Jim Reed ever was. No, sir. A man who spent half his life killing somebody's brothers, fathers, sons. I think you were just looking for justice, sir. Is that what I was looking for, Dwight? Is that what it was? Justice? Isn't that why you were hunting the James Gang? The James Gang. <laughs> right. I finally found Frank holed up in his mountain cabin, and he was determined to have me dead. <laughs> it was a pitched battle that could have gone either way. Luckily, I had some dynamite in my possession. Dynamite? On your person? A few sticks, just in case. It's always good to be prepared. Right. I'm just laying out the facts as I remember them, Jack. Take that son of a bitch! Take him out! He's just one man! For their day! I want that bastard dead! That old shack? Well, it went tumbling right off that cliff. 
With Frank James still in it? Yes, sir. But Frank James is still alive, living in Missouri, showing folks around the family farm for 25 cents a tour. I didn't say he died in the fall, now did I? I'm done with this damnable outlaw life! Kill me, don't kill me, do what you will! At this point, I just don't give a shit! I explained to Frank that I had nothing against him personally and that I was looking for someone else. You want Reed? Have at him! I never did like that bastard! I am done here! We parted in peace as Frank pointed out the path to my prey before making his way back down the hill. What happened with Reed? Well, I finally found the last of the gang hiding in a nearby cave. First, I had to dispatch the lookouts. But I was determined not to let that murderer escape my revenge again. But rather than wander in willy-nilly, I decided it would be better to smoke that son bitch out. Hey, Reed! I shouted. No wonder you're so ornery. Can't be easy being married to Belle Star. While you're off providing for the family, she's spreading her legs for every Tom, Dick, and Cole younger. Not an attractive woman exactly, but very friendly. At least she was to me. Son of a bitch! It was then that the last bunch of bandits jumped out of hiding. Why won't this asshole give up? Would someone please kill him? Just me and Reed. I had waited a long time to face him down, so I could repay him for what he did to my brothers. Pay him, I did. Well, I don't know about you boys, but I'm pretty beat. Well... It's too damn bad you never found that Bob character. It seems a shame he never had to pay. Well, funny thing about that. I did have one more chance at him. Six months ago, I heard that Butch and Sundance were back in the States and had gathered up some of their old gang. I tracked them down, hoping that Roscoe Bob Bryant had returned with them. So, you're saying they didn't die down in Bolivia? That's what I'm saying.
Forty years I had waited to get my hands on the last of my brother's killers. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. the last one. Roscoe Bob Bryant. That son of a bitch had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I couldn't even be certain I'd recognize him after all these years. By now, he had to be close to 70. But for all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind, as did others. For instance, did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. Nothing could stop me from taking his life. I'd been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid. But that chapter of my story you already know. Chapter of that fairy tale, you mean? <sighs> Suddenly it was 1910. Here I was, an old man roaming a ghost town dead almost two decades. The town was falling apart. Just like me. But I wasn't about to call it quits. Even though the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The Wild Bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled buried in the grave of a dead amigo. Some folks think the town is haunted, so they figured there wouldn't be many people poking around. I intended to fill that grave with Bob Bryant's corpse. But like I said, the bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in, and hit me with everything they had. Actually, in that moment, I did not prevail. So I suppose we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Because when I woke up, uh, from the dead? There was silence all around me. I could swear to God I saw Billy then. Billy who? Billy the kid. William Bonney. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. Here, there, even over there. So I am right. You are titched in the head. Mr. Graves. Perhaps we should switch you to coffee? 
You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer. Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came at me guns a-blazing. But I knew that old war horse had died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was dead too and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt me and, and drag me down to perdition. I saw Henry Plummer throw dynamite at me. And in the gates of the cemetery, I saw John Wesley Harden, just like I remembered him. Robert Ollinger appeared with his terrible double-barrel shotgun. But no ghost army was stopping me! Uh, my father-in-law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. Newman Hayes Clanton, William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead. Robert and Grattan, guardians of the Garden of the Dead. George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance from the great beyond. Jesse, Woodson, James, and Jim Reed, each one deader than the next. I saw Harry Alonzo Longabar. The Sundance Kid? Like a general leading his legion of the dead. You told us before oh. you'd seen him alive. He was alive. Then I heard a voice call to me from afar. It was Robert Leroy Parker, AKA Butch Cassidy, coming at me from out of the fog. Thanks for taking care of that bastard. But the kid wasn't quite deceased. Not yet. Takes more than one little bullet to kill the likes of me, partner. Those two looked like they hadn't seen each other for quite a while. Clearly, they were no longer amigos. Shit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill you. You won't have to, Butch. I'm killing you first. I asked him about Bob Bryant. But they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. 
You want my money and the love of my life? You frittered it all away, Butch. Edda's mine. And so is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid died there in that cemetery not six months ago. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were killed by the Bolivian Army. Everybody knows that. That's the legend, but it ain't the truth. So, uh, you never found Bob? There is no Bob. This old some bitch ain't even Silas Greaves. Sir, is that true? Have you been pulling our legs this whole time? Well, not the whole time. Oh man, I think you've worn out your welcome here. Maybe you're right, Jack. Maybe it's time to pay. You see, Ben, or should I say Bob, your past always catches up with you. I, I was a different man back then, crazy, drinking. I, I changed my ways, I swear to you. If I could turn back the clock, I... But you can't, Bob. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along. Why not just lay your cards on the table? Wanted to suss you out, Bob. See what kind of man you turned out to be. Maybe prod you into drawing on me. See, all those years on your trail turned me into a killer. Can't even remember who I was before you tried to murder me. You, on the other hand, walk that very same path in exactly the opposite direction. What do you mean by that? You think your life is worth sparing, Bob? I'm a... Boy, what's your name again? It's Eisenhower, sir. Dwight Eisenhower. What do you plan to do with your life, Dwight Eisenhower? Uh, tomorrow I'll be leaving for West Point, sir. So, you want to be a soldier? Well then do it right, son. Don't tear down the world out of anger and spite like I did. You build it up. You do something decent with your life, you hear me? Sir? Yes, sir. I won't have it said I left you with nothing, Bob.